Hello, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today we're going to go over switch mode external power supplies. By nature, external power supplies isolate the user from dangerous mains electricity while supplying a lower, more controllable voltage and DC electricity for powering analog and digital circuits. External power supplies come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but also various electrical outputs. Most are DC power supplies, but some are AC adapters that look like DC power supplies. Be sure to check the data stamp on the case. Do not connect an AC adapter to a device that was meant to have DC. You're going to blow it up. Some external power supplies are designed to deliver a constant output voltage at a rated current, while charger adapters are designed for charging batteries and use the detected output voltage as feedback to control the output of the charger, which prevents batteries from being overcharged. If a power supply is used as a makeshift charger, it'll continue charging a battery until the battery catches fire or it explodes. Chargers are very specific to the battery chemistry it's designed to charge. Lithium chemistry chargers deliver a constant current until the voltage maxes out, then shuts off charging, with no float charge cycle at the end. Lead acid chargers use ramping current and a couple stages until voltage is in spec, and then they switch over to float charge to maintain the battery. Be sure that all devices with internal batteries use OEM chargers and power supplies. External power supplies usually have their stats clearly marked on the case. The input voltage usually has a wide range, but be warned that not all are universal or worldwide compatible. Some only accept 120 volts, and some only accept 240 volts. The output of a power supply is the most important spec on the label. The output voltage and amperage ratings are usually clearly written which makes for easy troubleshooting. Also on the label is the polarity of the output connector. Not all manufacturers wire power supplies the same. Pay attention to the label. If a device doesn't have protection diode at the power port, damage will occur with reverse polarity input. Some power supplies with more complex output jacks have the pinout right on the label. This also saves time when troubleshooting. The last major detail on the label is the efficiency rating. The higher the power supply efficiency rating, the less power is being used during standby. Meanwhile, the most output is made compared to the amount of electricity consumed by the power supply. There are many power supply output jacks in circulation. Some jacks are rare, some are proprietary, and some are very common. If you need an external power supply with a specific output jack, you can usually get them from the original equipment manufacturer, but sometimes they're not sold separately. In those cases, try eBay or if else, make one yourself. Don't attempt to make a custom external battery charger. There's too much minutia behind battery chargers to even deal with it, and you don't want to be liable. Use the pinout on the old power supply, or find the pinout on a photo online of the original power supply. Use the original output cord or power jack, either near the power supply or near the power jack. Strip back the old and new cords one quarter of an inch Plug in the new power supply and measure the voltage. Be sure to mark the lead with the positive output and then unplug the power supply. Next, use continuity to determine the wire that is associated with the positive on the new jack, according to the pinout on the old power supply. Mark that wire. Tin all wires with solder, leaving a solder bulge on each wire. Install the large shrink tube over the entire cord and then install the smaller shrink tubes over the individual conductors. Match the marked positive wires first and solder together, followed by the remaining conductors. Shrink the small tubes and then shrink the largest tube over top for a completed professional finish. That's all I have on external power supplies at the moment. Thanks for watching the video and be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video.